Hello everyone. Today I will tell you about ACL examination. Full form AC for actuarial science entrance test. Okay, they should be named as ASET. That will be much more preferable. Okay. So what is actuarial science entrance examination? This is the entry point to the actuarial science universe. And in this examination is only taken in India, not for the UK one. UK one starts with CT one that we will find it in the next videos. So what happens in this actuarial science entrance test? It is a hundred marks examination. They take three thousand rupees for the as a fee. And if you crack the examination, you get to give the other examination like the core technical level examination papers. So what is about this case? People, there's a myth. There's a myth. That people say that actually your science is hundred percent about mathematics, so very tough. You can't crack it. Answer is a big no, no. You can't crack it is a big no because this actually your science entrance examination has only twenty percent of marks, only twenty. And next comes statistics. That is twenty. There is logical reasoning twenty, and then data interpretation twenty, and there is English twenty. This is an approximated value. They say that these two combined will come 60, these two combined will come 40. But in this previous year's examination, it has been seen that the percentage has been jumbled up in a little bit way. So for your convenience, I am taking everything to be 20. Okay. So this is like 20 to 25 percent of questions. So math, LRDI. So according to my pattern, sometimes they give it like this sometimes comes 30, this sometimes has come 25. This changes to 25, so they don't maintain the exact percentage pattern. For our ease, we are doing it like this. So, what are these subjects? Mathematics, you know, mathematics has the complete syllabus of class 11, 12 only. Nothing beyond that. Only the element which has integration, AP, GP, calendar problems. These are the calendar problems is relatively new. And this also has vectors, this also has logarithm, this has integration, matrix, determinant, these are the parts. Statistics. Is mostly about the basic statistical pattern. Most of you have done minimum 11 12 cases like the mean, median, aim, gm, and this has the probability and probability distributions as well, which is relatively tough a section. Most of you used to drop that part. Now, this is going to be the crucial one. And along with that, there is another very important session that is in this section, it is called the statistical and analytical part. So, advanced statistics is also there. So, there around four to five questions you can face okay and next coming to logical reasoning there will be questions like if 3 followed by 11 followed by sorry 3 followed by 10 followed by 11 101 what will be the next number this type of question so this is like 3 square plus 1 that is 10 10 square plus 1 that is 101 so the next one should be 101 square plus 1 get your number so this is the type of pattern which we follow there or there may be questions like A is sitting beside B, B is sitting beside C. In that way you have to form an hexagonal pattern, some traces. Okay. Or there may be questions like clock problems. Like if the mirror shows 325, so or this is the original time. So there we introduce a formula like mirror plus original equal to 12 so if the mirror shows 325 so 12 minus 3.25 so this is 6835 this is the original AMK doesn't matter so this kind of clock problems there or they might may ask you what was the day of 15th August 1924 you can find it out with, our, with using some of the formulas so this is about the logical reasoning session this is very new for this, you need practice and expertise. Okay, but this is relatively gradual in a short span. Data interpretation is like applications of pie chart, like applications of histograms. There will be big diagrams given, and on the basis of that, they will ask you what is the percentage between A and B, C and D, like this. And in English session, it is simple synonym antonyms. There will be small passage, unseen passages will also come. So, basic patterns of English which you face, but everything is in MC. Now coming to, after the syllabus section, now I am coming to how many questions will be there. Question is not that much big. Question is total 100 marks will be there and 70 questions. So you will face 1 mark, 2 mark and 3 mark questions. But all are MCQ. 1 mark is very small, easier questions and you don't need much more time. Any, and for 2 marks there will be more time needed and 3 
mass question, some more of time. So on the basis of the size of the question, these marks will be divided. So there is no Hanafas uh, rule that in which chapter or which segment you will face this. Okay. Now, what is uh, the pattern of taking question is entirely online. So previously it was like eight different days, they used to take two different days and eight different slots. Now only one day, one slot, one question all over the India, all over India. So the, that is an examination you need to crack it. So it's good for you as all the segments are relatively having equal percentage they try to maintain. This is only launched in the last ACID examination which happened in the month of May. Now in this online portions you need to put the marks and they will be okay. Now the time is increased to 3 hours per day. Okay, in this 3 hours you need to finish up your, your uh, answers. Okay, now uh, the next part is after the online examination it's over. So now we are going to the fees pattern. There is total 3000 rupees you have to pay that is also be online. You can pay it by your debit card or credit card or any FT or bank transfer, this kind of stuff. Okay, and after getting a set entry, you will need to fill the next information and put your uh, class 11, 12. Uh, a mark sheet, class 10 mark sheet and get it done by a notary or by a government registered officer that you need to send, you will find it in the website of the actual science entrance this examination and after that there is a very important part that how to crack this examination there is a study material they used to provide previously they used to provide a study material but that material only has a mathematics and statistics section they don't have any LRDI they give some name of the books but that is not enough for you you need a compact study material on by which you will be uh, getting you may find it online in uh, some of the notification organizations we have a very uh, compact study material as well which you will find in our website so this will uh, get you to your success point and the syllabus is now more towards oriented the all India examinations like banking examination like GMA and GRE these type of examination have the MCQ segment which is almost same like the LRDI portion and the English session as well and after cracking what is the passing percentage in general last time around 4900 people filled up the form and among them only 2000 people have given the examination and among them only around 600 people have cleared the examination okay so the passing percentage isn't very impressive okay but again if you really work hard so these six you can among these 600 people and any uh, way this uh, examination is given by the class 12 student without very proper preparation that's why the problem occurs but if you have one or two or three months of time in hand especially like two months minimum in hand then this exam is very much practical and never believe on any kind of hope that it has 100% of mathematics it has these kind of segments and it is the previous time it has been uh, cleared by many of the students uh, all by their own so this is the process and if you have any doubts regarding the examination how to proceed with that so uh, you know our website address that is provided okay after that good luck and hope to see come and clear in this examination with flying colors thank you